you know, I think a lot of times when we go in and do uh, some of the tags, it's sort of like, uh, uh, they're almost like appetizers for like big adventures, you know? There was a, a tag that we did where uh, Troy and Abbott were in cardboard boxes, and they were doing this like space adventure kind of thing, and I would love to see a full episode about that, you know, Troy and Abbott in space. I think that would be really interesting. I'm fascinated by aliens and all that. So, uh, I don't know, maybe we go to outer space next year. We did the space bus, but Abbott didn't get to go to outer space. I want to be in outer space, okay? This is when you found it. Attention, everyone. Uh, this is when you find out I am an alien. Thank you so much. Thank you Happy very much, Jeff. Appreciate it. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hi, Kurt from HollyWiki.com. So, uh, I got a reader question first. Yeah. Uh, does Abed have Asperger's, or is he actually an alien just spying on humanity? <laughs> I know. That's did why I was like, I have answer? to. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. I was like, this is perfect. No, I mean, people sometimes will, will will say my character is very much like Spock, sort of in the group, outside of the group. You know, um, I, I think Abed just sees the world in a very peculiar way. I don't think anybody wants to really diagnose him, and I don't know if it's right to totally diagnose him. I just think he has a very unique take on stuff, and in some ways, he is a narrator and he's an observer of the group. So who knows? Maybe we'll discover in season five if we get there, please, uh, <laughs> that Abed is an alien. Um, See, that's an that's an episode I'd like. To see. I would do. You're in outer space, throw the alien in there, it'd be beautiful. Why not? Jump you know, the shark. I always think that people are always like really nervous about when aliens do come. I'm ready for them. Oh, me too. I'm exactly. Waiting. So you were mentioning Pulp Fiction. What other movie styles would you like to see Abed take on next? Um, the Pulp Fiction one is really exciting. Anything with Tarantino, I'm always like a huge Definitely. fan of. Huge fan of. Um, you know, I've talked about Western, which I'd be really excited about doing. Um, in terms of other things, you know, I was a big fan of like movies when I was a kid. Uh, any kind of Bruce Lee stuff. So anything with Bruce Lee would be interesting thing to do um, and you know I mean though I am playing a Palestinian character uh why not go Bollywood? I mean, Ooh, no <laughs> why not kidding. go there? You know, I uh, who doesn't want to see you know Brita in a sari? Oh, definitely. La and last question: um, You mentioned that you, you have to be a blank slate. Yeah. How tough is it for you to not break character through with Ken Jong and everybody else trying to crack you up? Do you guys challenge? Are you, is there like a challenge to crack somebody else up? Oh yeah. The, the challenge is, I mean, completely out. Ken, who's right over there, is uh, he will come up to me literally times now and be like, by the way, this take, I'm just gonna be staring at you. Like, and I know, like, we'll be doing a scene where I have no point in the scene other than just to be a participant kind of out there and he'll direct all his lines towards me and be like right Abed right Abed and I'm like why are you talking to me right now <laughs> you're responding to a question over there but I know he does it to try to get me oh going. definitely and for me it's so fun because it's, it keeps us going keeps our energy up and uh, you know we you know if you do something like a number of times you're always trying to invent new ways new possibilities of doing it uh, so I like it I like that challenge oh that's good thank you so much for talking to us appreciate it